Have you ever wondered what happens to your blood after you make a donation at a South African National Blood Service donor site? Well, we're here to fill in the blanks. The SANBS takes pride in making sure that the blood that is transfused to patients is safe from any viruses and is of the highest quality. We do this by thoroughly testing every unit of donated blood in our state-of-the-art laboratories before it is dispatched for transfusion. The journey of blood starts at an SANBS donation clinic, also known as a donor center, when a donor gives blood. Once the blood has been collected into blood bags at a donor center, they are carefully stored at between 20 and 24 degrees Celsius in preparation for transportation to the SANBS labs. Three blood samples are also taken during the donation process for testing purposes. The three samples are kept in test tubes and are transported together with the blood units to the central labs where they are tested for common blood-related infections. Through this process, we eliminate the probability of transfusion-related infections. While the testing is taking place, the red blood cells are stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, the platelets are stored at room temperature, and the plasma is frozen to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Blood is then labeled according to its respective ABO group and thereafter separated into three components, that is, the red blood cells, the platelets, and the plasma. Interesting fact, when donor blood arrives at the SANBS laboratories, the three blood samples taken with each blood unit are distributed to three different SANBS laboratory departments, namely the blood grouping lab, the molecular NAT lab, and the virology lab. The blood grouping and donation testing lab is responsible for testing and labeling donor blood according to the various blood groups. The blood is tested to determine what ABO and RH blood type it belongs to. The blood types are A, B, AB, O, O, and they are also classified according to the RH blood grouping system where a donor can be RH negative or RH positive. The Virology Lab performs serological testings for antibodies from HIV to Hepatitis C and for the antigen for Hepatitis B. Lastly, we have the NAT section, the Nucleic Acid Testing Lab. This lab tests for the RNA or DNA of the HIV hepatitis B and hepatitis C viruses. Because the test is sensitive to the virus itself, it can detect infection even within the window period of infection. Once lab testing is completed, the results are communicated via electronic interfaces back to the inventory area where the blood products are stored. The results from each blood sample from all the three labs must have a negative result before the blood unit can be deemed safe for use. Should one of the three samples from any of the three labs be found to be positive, the donation will not be used and the donor will be notified, counseled and, unfortunately, permanently deferred. All negative blood products are labeled and marked with relevant information and then dispatched to the blood banks where they are kept, ready for patients. When a recipient is in need of blood, a sample from the patient and the donor is tested in a process called cross-matching. This entails comparing donor and recipient blood to ensure compatibility. Once found to be compatible, the donor blood is sent to the healthcare facility treating the recipient. The SANBS takes pride in their work and the quality of the testing and processing is of utmost importance. To this end, all of the SANBS laboratories are SANIS ISO 15189 accredited. Part of this accreditation requires staff to be deemed competent and lab equipment to be maintained and calibrated regularly by specialized engineers. Remember, one unit of blood 
can save a minimum of three lives. So it's not just blood donation. It's a second chance at life.